So here we have a, a very low power Wi-Fi solution here at the Atmel. So what is this? This is um, Sam W25. Again, example of a fully self-contained module with crypto authentication for the application space and key management with a full SAMD21 Cortex-M0 Plus uh, MCU, uh, world's smallest ABGN uh, Wi-Fi. It's only a 3.1 by 3.1 millimeter square. World lowest power for active current and leakage current for battery-powered applications. World's lowest power Wi-Fi. World's lowest power Wi-Fi. It's so, combined with our SAMD21. The whole SAMD21 is available for application development. The Wi-Fi chip itself, it includes all the SSL TLS and all the TCP IP stack. So it's a fully self-contained layer one through layer five. You can develop as big an application as you want using our SAMD21. And aside from that, we've added our crypto authentication engine on the top of it, which makes it a fully secure uh, system solution from an edge node or sensing node perspective for IoT battery powered applications. So fully secure, uh, how do you implement security? So the security, it's, uh, it comes with both layers of the security that typical Wi-Fi chips have, but also on the top of it, we've developed a, we've brought in our crypto engines, which is a unique product offering for Atmel. And uh, is that uh, hardware this, encryption. It's a hardware ex uh, encryption plus uh, memory space for key management and key storage. So it secures the application space. The Wi-Fi itself comes with. Uh, the SSL TLS, as I mentioned, as well as all the crypto that it needs for security of the Wi-Fi, security of the internet, the next layer, and then on the top of that, the application space, which is with our crypto engine. So what are we looking at on this board right here? So this is... Several chips, right? Several yep, so this is our SAMD21. Just one second, sorry. Yep. So Here's our SAMD21, uh, based on Cortex M0 Plus. That's our flagship product. Uh, this is the uh, Wink 1500, our Wi-Fi chip, world's smallest, um, self-contained with TCP/IP and uh, SSL TLS, uh, world's smallest Wi-Fi chip. Uh, and the crypto authentication, which is on the top, it's a fully self-contained FCCC certified module that's available today for customers who are after battery consumed devices. So are we also talking about uh, years of battery life here? We're talking about years of battery life on uh, AAA batteries. Correct. AAA battery, years of battery life. Years of battery life. Uh, which is pretty Actually, important again, this for is, the... This is again from a use case functionality perspective. If you look at the use cases that require um, pulling of more than once every 30, once every 30 minutes, uh, again, you're, you're talking over 10 years of battery life um, for um, out of a, a AAA app. Did you say 10 years? 10 years of battery life. For every 30 minutes? If it's pulling more than 30 minutes. All right. Uh, and so this module goes in, uh, into what kind of device? Um, this is a pretty much drop on any boards that the customer wants to develop or use it as is uh, to integrate it into any kind of thing, any kind of gadget around the house. Uh, it's um, certified, it's a, um, it's a Wi-Fi Alliance certified, works with a lot of different access points as well as full FCC certification. So, your imagination uh, can guide you to what type of devices can use this because it's very small, very thin, fully secured, all layers of security, including the application space, and ready to be consumed by things developers. So uh, at Atmel, you basically you're kind of like doing magic, no? I mean, uh, these devices lasting for 10 years is, is crazy, but this is IoT 
are designed for IoT? These are designed from the ground up for IoT applications. So it's not like for uh, Wi-Fi uh, wi media streaming, uh, smartphones media, and stuff? No, nope, this isn't for media streaming. This isn't for things that are uh, media heavy. This is for command and control applications. And it's optimized for that. It's very easy to use. We've turned the complexities of a Wi-Fi into a serial I.O. So the MCU developers can focus on developing the applications in our MCU as opposed to anything else that's related to the communication part. We manage the rest of it for them. All right. So, so there it is. Uh, world's lowest power Wi-Fi.